Hey guys, it's Darren Rosprobs here, and this is episode 9 of my Universal Minecraft Editor tutorial. And today, as you can see behind me, there's custom hologram written. Now that's what we're doing today, guys. So, this is what we're all used to, custom holograms. Oops, I am not supposed to put that on me. That's supposed to go on him. But yeah, this is an armor stand, as you can see. Um, we all know that is how you do custom holograms, which is good. I mean, it's, I use it still. But there is a new way guys, and that is with Area Effect Clouds. Now that's how I did it in my map that I released the other day, the parkour one. Now this is a luck booster, as you can see in the top right corner I get luck. That lasts for one minute. So. But yeah, that's how I did the levitation boost and stuff. So it's just an Area Effect Cloud, and you put a name on the top of it. Okay, It's pretty straightforward. Now this is what else you can do. So this is like a little rainbowy idea I had. See, it's changing. The colours. I mean, I could make it faster if I did. I wanted, but I didn't. But I don't know. I just did it quite quickly, and yeah, I don't know. I'll just show you guys. This is another idea I had. Now you can make like your custom maps or something, and you can make it go up here, and then you would climb up here, and go in your chest, and grab all your diamonds and your totem of life and dying or whatever the hell this thing is. And then just as a little thing, I could show you as well. You can actually make it alternate from different messages as well, but I've just changed the colour of that, but yeah. Subscribe to me guys, woohoo! Uh, anyway, so what I'm going to show you here is, I've got in my little inventory here, a monster spawner. Now we're going to break this one, I'm going to show you how it's done. So you all know you get a pig obviously from a monster spawner, and now I want a potion of lingering or something. So what I'm going to do is just throw this on the ground. And um, save and exit and go on the PC. Okay guys, so I've loaded up Universal Minecraft Editor and let's find my save, which is called Advanced Holograms. So first of all, we want to find our player and right click on him, go to chunk, and we're going to copy this, okay? This is the area effect cloud, the health potion I threw, look, okay, so we copied that. And we need to find that mob spawner I've thrown on the ground. Just a minute, okay? I believe it's this one. It should say pig. Yep. So what I want to do is delete that spawn data, okay? And we're going to paste that in there. Now what we're going to do is rename that spawn data. Okay? So now this is that area effect cloud of the strong healing. So what I want to do now is delete that. Put that to zero. Zero. Uh, we can put that one to zero point one. So it's quite small. That's all fine. That's all fine. That's all fine. I'll put the age. We'll just put that at one for now. And then duration, because we want it to blink. We want to put that at twenty. Okay. Anywhere between twenty thirty is good. So that's that. We can get rid of. No, that's fine. Now this position is quite interesting. We need to set that to the same as the spawner, okay? But I want it to go a bit higher. So we need that to be 192 and then 380. And we just set that a bit higher. So we'll go up to like 70 or something. That's that. And then we can leave the UID for now. Um, because I'm only going to show you how to do this from one spawner, but all you need to do is copy and paste and obviously change this or delete it, but because I've got so many of these on that little showcase, it's going to probably mess up, so yeah, it will probably get a bit laggy as well. So this, del this is the actual spawner now guys, so we want to set that to, well we can just set it to 1, that's fine. Uh, that's fine, but we don't want it at 800 and 200, okay? For this to spawn quite rapidly, uh, I would set that to something like uh, 20, and we'll put the minimum at, whoa, put that at 10, like so. And we'll put that to 1, because if if I leave that to 4, you'll notice it will try and spawn 4 of these things, but it will keep clicking, if you know what I mean. So that's that. So now what I want to do is copy this again, and we're going to chuck it in here. So in here is the pig. We don't want the pig. We can get rid of that. I'm actually going to put that in there. Okay. 
You're gonna have to rename this entity. Let's say. Okay. And then just because the first one is that, I'm just gonna set that to something else. It's easier. Okay. Now, this is what how you actually make it spawn a name, say. So you want to add a byte tag, and we're going to call that one custom name visible. That. And then for that to say yes, we need to put that to one. And lastly, we just want to add a string tag and call that custom name. And for this, we're just going to call this health uh, baby. <laughs> How random is that? And obviously to get the different colors and stuff, we need to get a code for that, okay? Now if we go on here and we just type in, oh my god, my computer's blowing up. Um, so yeah, we can just type in Minecraft color codes. And go down. Go away, you stupid things. Sorry guys. There we go. So you type in Minecraft color codes and you go down a bit and you'll find like this funny symbol here. Now this is the symbol we need. So you copy that on here, put it at the front and I know that B baby one is red, okay? So if I do this and then I know that five is purple. Okay, so now that will say health baby in red and purple, easy. And it's got the strong healing effect, which is fine. So we'll leave that as it is, because that's what I want. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Just double check everything. That's all good, that's all good. And the first one isn't gonna say anything. We don't want it to say anything, but yeah. Oh, and <laughs> I could change the particle effect. Let's just put, uh, I think 33 is the fireworks spark. I might be wrong, but we'll see. It'll be different to what it should be. But yeah, let's uh, save that and try it on the Xbox, shall we? Right, let's load up advanced holograms then. And we should see in front of us a blinking health baby in, uh, supposed to be Red and purple. Okay, no, B is blue. I mistaken that. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it is just flashing, you see, health baby. But you see how it keeps flashing on and off because that's the duration of 20. And I was right, fireworks park is 33. It's the top of my head. But because the duration is so short, it's like it's not really going to actually give me, as you can see, I'm not actually getting a health regeneration like I should be or strong healing unless maybe I need to lose some damage but, but yeah guys that's pretty much it I mean if I cut away if all you have to do is copy and paste that into your um, obviously your spawn potentials and you can have I don't know how many max is but on this subscribe one I've got at least eight of them in there so but yeah that's pretty much it guys um, I just want to say something else as well <laughs> I'm almost at a thousand subscribers and it's my birthday on Saturday. Um, I know this is stupid saying this on this video, but wouldn't it be amazing if I could reach a thousand by my birthday on Saturday? So go smash the like button and subscribe. Oh my God. Anyway guys, I'm Darius Probs. I hope this helped you. And yeah, thanks very much for watching. Bye. <laughs>